So we just got the plot here mowed. Looks good, just barely knocked the tops off. Missed a spot right there, we'll come back and hit. But I wanna show you why I love clover. One of the reasons that people overlook. So when you plant your fall food plots in the late part of the summer, a lot of times if you don't get a rain, those fall food plots don't turn out the best. But clover holds so much moisture in here. I want you to look at these tractor tires. Now it's about 10 o'clock and it's about 90 degrees. And there's just, these tractor tires are just wet. So that's, that's the reason why you wanna keep your clover fairly lengthy. You know, don't cut it any lower than eight, nine, 10 inches tall or so. But the amount of uh, moisture that this clover her holds underneath there at the ground level is just amazing. So a lot of advantages to clover, high in protein. Um, they, you know, you don't have to work the plot every year. You just keep it mowed and there's just so many advantages. And then, like I said, obviously, uh, if you get a drought in the late part of summer, when you go into the fall, well, if you've got a well-established clover plot, then you've got something to hunt over that the deer are really gonna be coming to. And if there is a drought and your other seeds didn't do as well, your, your fall food plot seeds and the clover even stands out that much more, but just so many advantages mm -hmm. to clover. And uh, if you don't plant it on your property, you should really think about it. When we came in, and this is my, going into my third year of having this property, one of the first things we did was get about six to seven nice clover plots established and the blends that backwood attraction make and their clover is just simply amazing we've been very impressed with how well it's worked for us but on to the next plot now